Well, hello, my joyful subbies. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Joy Fuller, the chief crafter for the Joyful Designs brand, here to bring you another DIY. So if DIYs on a budget is what you're looking for, then keep watching. And as always, it's time to craft. Let's go. Let's go, guys. So before I even get started, I want to let you guys know that this video tonight is a part of a four-way collaboration with these amazing ladies and I am here for it and what we had to do was create a decor piece using these trays that you see here in this clip and what I've decided to do is to create a multi-purpose DIY using the trays and what I'm creating is a tiered tray that can also serve as a sorter and so what I've done was taken the trays space them out using these paint jars right here and then I have some jumbo popsicle sticks and I am using the Gorilla super glue as well as the hot glue combination and I am affixing them vertically on each edge and as well as in the back. Now in order to get that third tray to fit perfectly, I did have to cut a um, paint stick down to act as a lip. And then initially I was going to use some of the barbecue skewers as the backing, but that was taking too long. So I just opted to go ahead and finish the project by using these jumbo popsicle sticks slash paint stick and as i'm the more and more i looked at it i wanted to give it character so i decided to use the um barbecue skewers that i had cut down to create a barnyard style um siding for both sides and you will see that in the reveal and I'm also using the barbecue skewers to close up any gaps that you may see in this project. Guys, I want you to take time to visit Melinda with B. Abby Dald, Felicia with BOK Media, as well as Donna, the Creole Crafter, to see what amazing projects they have come up with using these trays. I know they are going to knock them out the park. And when you go by there, if you're not subscribed to their channel already, please make sure you click on the subscribe button and don't forget about their notification bell. Support them as well as support me. And when you get over there to their channels, tell them, Joy said, what's up? All right, back to my DIY. So, as you can see, this has only undergone a color change, and that's because I did not like the way that project looked. So I took it outside, spray painted in some cashmere paint, brought it back in, and then I distressed it using some cocoa bar or co chocolate bar paint by um, Apple Barrel. Now in this second DIY, I am going to use create a planter hanger but I, I'm also going to create a crackling effect using some of that jot um, glue that you can find at Dollar Tree. Now I will say that usually when I create the crackling effects for my projects I typically will use the Elmer glue because it is a thicker glue and it works a little better but I wanted to keep this budget friendly if you decided to recreate this particular project and so I used the jot paint instead and I did end up having to saturate it and what you saw me do was paint it using the Waverly brand paint in the color plaster then I painted it using some of that um, burnt umber paint by Apple Barrel I added the jot glue to it and then I'm drying it making sure that the paint was really dry. Then I went back, added more of the uh, Waverly brand chalk paint in the color plaster and drying it. And as you can see, it did give me the crackling that I was looking for. 
and I think this project turned out amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see it in its totality. And this is the second planter that I am making on the channel tonight. Well, this is the first of two that I'm making on the channel tonight. Guys, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on the subscribe button. And don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you when I upload to the channel. So as part of the first planner decor piece, now that I have the tray with the crackling effect that I'm looking for, I decided to take these little plastic um, planters and that you can find at the Dollar Tree and add some of that jute twine or jute rope that you can also find at the Dollar Tree to the front of it. I did paint this using some of that uh, Wavelet brand chalk paint in the color ink. And you can find this paint at the Dollar Tree. I added the rope on the front. Then I decided to add the beads down the center of it add a little bit of the distressing to the front of it just to tie the projects in and you will see the reveal see this project in the reveal coming up soon so in this third diy for tonight i am again using this waverly brand chalk paint in the color plaster and i have painted it i am now distressing it and as you can see, I am painting the word or the letters E-A-T to spell the word eat. And this is a piece that you can hang up in your kitchen. I think this turned out cute and it was very inexpensive. The letters came from Pop Chef and they were only a dollar, guys. Don't sleep on Pop Chef. And of course, I had to create my jute twine bow to put on top of the A. So in the fourth project for tonight, I am again using the uh, Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. I have these little jars right here, plastic jars that you can find at the Dollar Tree. We are going to create a tray or a uh, planter. Um, and I'm just painting them all in the Waverly brand chalk paint in the color plaster, distressing it. This is a very rustic distressing projects for tonight this is my thing i love it and i hope you guys love it as well and if you don't guys please just recreate it and make it your own again if you want to see some amazing projects please head on over to these ladies channels and show your support to them after you finish watching my video and as you can see I have these little jars I am stuffing them with some of these uh, greenery from Dollar Tree I have wrapped as you can see I'm wrapping the jute twine around it the jute twine did come from Walmart and I created my famous jute twine bows to put on the front of these I think this was a fun, fun project. Added some of that Spanish moss to it in between and around the edges. And that will be it for this project. And moving on to the final DIY for tonight. I am creating another wall hanging planter. As you can see, I have this wall paper um, that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And it has like a raised edge and you'll see me distress that and now I'm just outlining the tray using some of that jute twine or jute rope that you can find at the Dollar Tree I did paint this using the uh, chocolate bar paint and now as you can see I am going around it um, using some of that plaster paint just to bring it back into the colors that I'm using throughout this project and I did um, add some of that jot paint not for the crackling effect per se but just as a sealant and I am making sure that the paint is dry and as you can see I have painted over 
the paper itself and it's giving it a raised edge i am actually distressing it just by sanding some of that paint off just so some of the natural um tray look would come in to make it look a little weathered and then those little black planters that dollar tree sells i did glue those down using some of that um super glue by gorilla and hot glue combination adding some more greenery to it and guys here's the reveal as you can see i've showed you how you can use this piece it is a multi-purpose piece as you can see you have the tear tray and then there's the barnyard style and then here's the second diy if i had to choose this would be my favorite for tonight and i love the way this turned out and i did style it with one of my older projects and this is amazing here is the eat sign it is heavily distressed all of my projects i'm just loving tonight um, again guys as you finish watching my video and supporting me please head over to these ladies channels and show your support to them as well and then here is the uh, tray you can use this as a tray and remove the spanish moss and but this is a, a planter as well as this one this is the final diy for tonight i think this turned out amazing i love it guys you gotta tell me what you think about these projects again head over to ib dog the creole crafter and be okay media life yeah they life uh, channels and show your support to them until the next DIY guys bye